hey guys welcome to my channel i'm richard fixer now today we're going to be working on the, a behringer digital snake um this is a sd16 this is 16 channels input and um eight output this one is a bit smaller than the um the x the s16 this one seems to be the the older model so i bought this not pouring up um the guy said that sometimes you had to hit it and then the lights will come on. So I do believe it has a, a power supply issues, power supply issue. Um, this really, it has a few screws that you just need to, to, to um, take out. Screws to the sides, screws on the top and underneath. I, I went ahead and took out the screws. Um, so let's dive into it and see exactly what's happening to this mixer. So I'm going to just be very careful to take it apart. I have some of the connections already disconnected and this is just like a uh, pretty straightforward plug and play kind of thing. Now this part has the, the control boards and the inputs and outputs, but I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, I don't need that any at all. What I'm concerned with is this power supply here and um, see exactly what, what, what's happening with it. Maybe something is loose on the board, you know, something like that. All right, so let's dig deep into it and see what happens, okay? So this is the power supply. I have some cables coming from the power supply to the these boards. Now this is the main uh, power that goes to, to power up the uh, mixer. This is um, 15 volts um, DC. So what I'm about to do, as I mentioned in my previous videos, you don't need inputs and output boards in order to test these things. You can test the thing um, just with the main board and the power supply. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna disconnect this small main board from this side and I'm gonna plug this in. All I want to see is that um, that this the light comes on because um, that's all I'm I'm really um, concerned about right now. So I'm gonna plug this on the board um, with a with one of these connectors, with this connector right here. I'm gonna see exactly what happened to the power supply. All right. Okay, so. Just gonna connect this DC volts here and um, this connector right here. Can I have a little bit of room? I'm gonna put something to kind of isolate this circuit. I don't want it to touch anything. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna plug it in and um, just tap the power supply to see what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna turn on the power switch to see. So there's no light here any at all. What I'm gonna do is just to tap this and see. All right, so we can see the light blinking on and off. That just uh, verification for me that, that something is loose in the power supply. So let's break this baby down and get to repairing the power supply. All right. All right, so we have the main board out and um, I'm getting 15 volts on this red connector right here, but I'm not getting any five volts. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to test some of these capacitors that are here, cause I'm getting like 1.5 volts on this capacitor right here. So I'm gonna take it out, check it to see exactly what's going on. So 
so I disconnected the board and um, was looking for some capacitors, tested them, but everything was okay. So I just did some soldering on the board because when I tapped the board, I realized that um, the light came on. So I did some soldering of the joints and um, it came up. So it's now running. So I've put the digital snake back together. Um, so as I said previously, all it needed was just some soldering on the board. So it's up and working. So I'm just connecting it now to my mixer to make sure that it works. So I have my mixer over here and um, the snake, and my laptop and uh, my powered speaker right here. So I've already connected uh, my AES50 port on the mixer on this snake to the mixer, to the back of the mixer right over here. And my output wire coming to my um, my speaker box. I've also gone ahead to, to do the configuration in the routing so that the input comes from the, the snake and also the output comes from the snake. So we're gonna power it on and see what happens. So let's power it on. All right, so we have a power light, that's one, and we're looking for the AES50A light to come on. All right, so we have the AES50A light, so it's connected to the mixer. Now, all we need to do is just to um, play some music. So there's music coming from the mixer. So we know that the snake is working. All right, so that's a wrap. All right, you guys, until next time.